Hey guys, welcome back to Ganji Plans. Today we're doing another bedtime book review, though uh, today's isn't exactly a bedtime book so much as just a book that my toddler really enjoys. Uh, more of an activity book, a bit more stimulating than a bedtime book, but this is just a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse look and find book. Um, she's been enjoying it recently and so I thought I would show it to you. Uh, she's got like an I Spy book, which obviously those are not designed for little kids, um, but she really enjoys like looking at it. But this one, it's like really good for her age. She's two and a half um, this month. And so basically it's pretty simple. Like this first page is very easy. Obviously it's like find the characters. Um, but then it gets a little bit more complicated towards the middle where you have a look and find with like cloud shapes and this one she has a little bit of trouble with but she's gotten better at it the more she uses it and so it's like she's gotten that sort of sense of accomplishment of like oh yeah I know this and she can remember where things are which is good for I guess her spatial awareness and all of that um but I like a lot of things about this book it's um its size is a bit unwieldy but it's good for a look and find book because that gives you more space for a big picture to look through um, it's also got this, this is probably my favorite weight for a, um, a children's book, like board book, especially in this transitional toddler period where she can't rip it. Um, and, but it's still like thin enough that it doesn't take up massive amounts of space. You don't need, you know, a giant, giant thick book for something like this. Um, the illustrations are very clear, obviously, and it's very nice that, um, things in the the bank of photo or pictures to be looked for are in the same orientation and look exactly the same as they do in the picture but sometimes I think there might be something that's like in front of them just a little bit like for example this broom here that Goofy's holding here it's vertical see here it's vertical as well same orientation it looks exactly the same so it's not like you have to be um you know some some books are like um some look and find books will have you having to like transpose things in your mind and make them a different, you know, maybe they're folded up instead of, or whatever. Um, but that's not the case here, but it is covered by whatever's going on in front here, Mickey with his trash can and Goofy's hand and all of that. So there, there's a little bit of hiding. Um, some things are not super in plain sight, like this um, purple sponge really does blend into the purple background and the purple of the I believe that's called the mouse Cadoer. Yes. Okay, so this is based off the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse television show, which is available on Disney Plus and is a favorite in our household, though it's been surpassed by Bluey and Daniel Tiger. But um, she does like have context for this. And maybe it's only, I, I think it's only because we live in Orange County that she has a lot of Mickey and Minnie stuff. People give stuff to her as gifts. It just sort of is osmosis somehow, even though she, okay, she's been to Disneyland once, but I don't think it was like, we didn't meet Mickey there. We met Pooh. Anyway, she knows these characters. She even knows like who, um, Clarabelle and, um, Chip and Dale and Felix the cat and stuff like some of the less, uh, prominent ones. This is Mortimer, by the way. Did you know that? Yeah. Okay. They're in the back as well. Oh, there's a story. I can tell you there's a story. Um, it's not a very involved story, but there is a little bit of storytelling. So when she asked me to read it to her, there is at least something to read. Um, <laughs> the character of Tootles comes up and then before I watched the show, I had no idea what was going on here, but he does actually, there is like a story like there would be in an episode of, um, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. If you're familiar with the show, you know that they have to like use the tools from Toodles to find or do or whatever they're trying to do. Right now they're trying to find the spring that um, springs out of the April shower maker. They're doing spring cleaning. It's silly. They end up going to a trampoline farm and climbing a beanstalk and they find it here with Willie the Giant. Um, but there is like a narrative of where Toodles is using, they're using different tools from Toodles, like these balloons, for example. Um, so if you're looking for a narrative, there is technically one. Um, and then in the back, when your kid's a little bit older, maybe ready for more of a challenge, besides just look and see the pictures on the page itself, there are some, um, challenges like this one says, uh, fly back for a little bird watching. Can you find all of these particular birds? So it's like an extra challenge on that page. 
Um, these are all of the uh, baseball related things that you can find in Willie the Giant's page. I thought that one was clever. So there's like this parking lot was supposed to be something. It's a little bit, the parking lot is for space. I don't know why. Anyway, but there's like a little room to grow, right? So it starts as just like, oh look, it's Mickey. Oh look, it's pretty colors when they're like a baby. And then it moves on to like, I can actually look for the things on here. And at two and a half, she is able to find everything. And she's actually at the point now where I can pretend like she'll say, oh, where's, where's this one, mommy? And I'll say, oh, there it is. And she goes, no, that's a fishbowl. Um, which is always, she's at that correcting you stage of reading, which is really fun. And then as she grows and moves on, she can move on to the more complicated things in the back and probably teach her little sister how to look and find as she goes. So that is just a little recommendation. Um, more so for like, these are some things that I think are good features of any look and find book, if that's what you're looking for. Um, if you're looking for this specific one, I will see if I can link it in my bookshop.org um, account down below. So look in the, the link there. Even if this one isn't on there, there is a list of every book from my Bedtime Book Review series in that, um, any that I can find are in that uh, link below. And if you make a purchase, I think that I get a little kickback, but just to help it make it easier to find stuff, that's all in there. Um, that's all I had to show you today. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, first look and find, yes, from Disney Junior. <laughs> Thanks for joining me for today's video. I do one of these every month, so um, I just started up doing them again after my maternity leave, but I do a bedtime book review every month. So if you have any suggestions for favorite kids books, bedtime book uh, that we would like me to take a look at, review, I'm always on the lookout for new books for my daughters to read. So please do leave those in comments below and I will check them out. And then don't forget to subscribe. I post videos twice a week, so I'll see you in the next one on Thursday. Bye.